The new World February PTI patch notes are here and there's some pretty massive changes that I am delighted to see. Now before we talk about that I just want to say if you're interested in following me on Twitch please head over there I have started streaming a little bit more and I'd be very happy to have you. But yeah let's talk about these changes. Now I'm not going to sit here and actually just read the patch notes to you. You can obviously just go and check that out yourself. What I'm going to do is hit on some of the main points. So let's start. And the first big change I want to talk about is the fact that Outpost Rush Rewards are getting boosted and they're now going to include Umbral Shards. So you're going to get 104 victory and 54 loss. Now that's only if you hit that minimum 500 points so you actually get the rewards. That's just an absolutely massive change because quite frankly at the moment the content of New World is pretty much all about the Expedition Mutators. You pretty much have to do that if you wanted to get your gear score up past 600. Well that's less of the case when you can literally just farm something on repeat getting a reasonable amount of Umbral Shards. I can see me getting with some people either from the stream or from my company and just trying to wreck face in Outpost Rush now and trying to get those 100 points. A little interesting note is that you're also going to get faction tokens via Outpost Rush which is nice to see because it always felt like a little bit weird that you didn't. The gear that you get from the Outpost Rush chest that is also changing. Apparently they now have like Outpost Rush specific gear and that's going to be interesting to see how that works. Apparently it seems to roll off a set list of PvP specific perks but obviously it is still going to be random and the gear score I would presume is also going to be random. However there is also still the equal chance that you'll get a named item which I've got to presume is going to be quite good or at least have a chance of being very good. In that outpost chest you're going to get two pieces of armor one weapon and then you have like a chance of getting a jewelry piece but that last bit is not guaranteed so yeah complete buff to the rewards of outpost rush and i'm delighted to see that come into the game now one thing that has been an issue that i've had is the scoring system in outpost rush and they are changing it they're doing something positive along with taking something away but um, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. So now you're going to get points for dealing damage. Imagine that. That is a great little change. However, they are also reducing the amount of points that you get from an assist and a kill, which is one thing I really didn't really want them to do. But it's there. We'll see if it bounces out. You're also going to get less points from killing the NPCs, basically. So just going ahead, killing the little like, lost and the, uh, the dryads and that kind of thing. Not going to be as effective. I sort of understand why they've done that, because people were doing that and then maybe like just chilling. However, it was sort of like needed because because if you couldn't get to 500 points in time that is the way that it was very easy to do. Now there's still no addition of adding like points to the people who are capturing the points but they are making a little change to capturing the point and that change is actually the more people who are on the point the quicker you take it. There's quite a few little changes about post rush but overall I think the ones that we just spoke about are the main ones and I've got to say as I said I'm like very very happy with those. It gives pretty much everybody a way of doing the progression with PvE with the mutators and now PvP. I would like to see maybe a little bit of a buff to crafting because it sort of feels like that's been shelved a little bit but I can't complain these changes are very much needed and I'm a little bit sad that we have to wait till the February PTR patch like I would prefer this to come pretty soon rather than later. A couple of smaller points it looks like the bug with the ice gauntlet where like something was stacking and causing a peak in damage I don't really know too much about it but I think that might be fixed in this patch. They are now also adding a trade post channel in the chat so no longer will everybody be just be spamming like all of them we can actually tell people hey why don't you do that in the trade chat and if they're not doing it there well then you have a legitimate right to complain so that's good to see they've fixed an issue where you might stop bobbing up and down on the giant oracalcum nodes they say that they've introduced a solution where they'll stop being like uh, there'll be a little bit less pushback with ai i don't really know what he's talking about there i don't think it's talking about stagger i think it's just talking about like when they push you into a corner basically hopefully that's a good change and not something that's going to be janky they've made quite a few changes to weapon swapping all about like the order in which things are done if you're trying to swap weapons and then you get staggered well then now you actually still swap weapons so hopefully that whole process and that experience is becoming a lot more smoother and you'll no longer be like having to check oh, what weapon have I got out you'll actually just know because it'll be the button that you pressed. One thing they say that they've actually shortened the recovery time from a dodge so at the moment when people dodge you're like swapping weapon or sheaving your weapon to essentially like animation cancel what they've done is that they've reduced the time from a normal dodge so I think what they're prepping here is to get rid of the animation swapping uh, so that you can no longer cancel it hopefully this just feels smooth or all the time now and then they'll eventually remove the animation cancel because they should have done one of two things there which is either remove the animation cancel or just make it so that everybody gets to like dodge freely personally i hate dodging <laughs> like i like the game just feels like complete chaos with people dodging everywhere and it sort of like annoys me a little bit i'd rather the game be a little bit slower but i mean it's not really the end of the world we'll have to wait and see how that plays out in game they do say that your basic attacks can now be cancelled if you do them two frames before the animation actually starts if i'm misreading that basically when you press a button but 
it and you don't want to do it you sort of get locked into your animation and you literally can't get out of it hopefully that makes it a little bit easier so that you can without like damaging the game in any way there's quite a few weapon bugs fixes that they're going through this whole patch is apparently predominantly bug fixes so there's quite a lot in here and i'm not like gonna sit here and go through them all one big thing that i completely nearly missed is the fact that for some professions if they're going to get 10 percent easier now i'm just going to read these because i can't remember them off the top of my head these are arcana armoring engineering furnishing jewel crafting and weaponsmithing these trade skills will now require 10 percent less xp that's a big change it's nice to see that probably puts it in line to where it used to be so i'm very happy that they're doing this now well i sort of feel like they should have done it earlier but it's fine they're also adding the smelting gear to tier 3 aptitude chests when it comes to smelting so yeah i think the outpost rush changes are pretty damn big it basically now opens up a completely different avenue of progression that was no longer there and i'm very excited that they're changing the rewards for that not just in terms of the umbral shards but also in terms of the possible gear that you actually get pvp gear pvping sounds pretty damn fantastic to me i'm a little bit apprehensive about the point scoring changes but it all depends on how they've balanced it and how many points you get for doing damage when it comes to outpost rush we pretty much want it that those people who are actually trying to play the game get the rewards and those who aren't don't the change to the xp when it comes to crafting i think that'll be welcomed by casuals so i'm pretty happy about that one raid chat i think is going to be a godsend and hopefully all of the bug fixes that they mentioned in the patch are actually like fix the bugs and the game just starts feeling a lot smoother hopefully that's the case with the weapon swapping that sounds really good what they're talking about in here but we'll have to wait and see how that actually plays out if it is as smooth as they're sort of saying it should be then i'm very happy and eager to play that well hopefully in outpost rush as well i'll be swapping my weapons for days i was gonna say killing people but i actually will just be dying so it is what it is other than that yeah like if you like this video press a like if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in new world and mmos and stuff please subscribe follow me on twitch have a most beautiful day goodbye